All right, Shalom. I'd like to start off by saying, Kahalayim la Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem Harakakwadash, my mouth. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and my elder Harawan as well. Salutation to the Akim that are pushing the truth and sincerity and truth. And peace and blessings to the men, women, and children that believe in the name of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so here it is uh, today. And this lesson is going to be concerning an encounter that I had with uh, IUIC here in Jacksonville, Florida. All right. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, as I was going, me and, my, we and my family, we were trying to find something to eat. And as I was going down the street, I seen IUIC on to the side. And it was crazy how the day was going because we already had food at the house for the eat, but it, something just kept pulling us, uh, pulling us out, pulling us out, pulling us out. So we left. So then I see, as we're going down the street, I see IUIC. They're handing out flyers. They got camp set up. All right. So I looked at my girl, and she looked at me. She's like, uh, you going to stop? And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to keep it moving. But as I passed them, um, it, it, just, it was just a pull on me, just a pulling on me, like, turn around, turn around. So I turned around, pulled into the gas station where they were posted at. And I parked as if I was getting some gas. And then as I'm standing over there listening to him, I'm like, well, let me go just grab my phone and start recording. And I started to walk over there. And, I'm, and really, I was just going to listen. Um, because one thing that our heroine, our elder, call, ta taught us is to um, don't be quick to, to say anything. Hear out the sickness of the person that you're encountering. Listen to all they have to say so you know how to di dissect it. Because at the end of the day, I could come back and do this, what I'm doing right now. Make a lesson. All right. To where they can't over talk me now. Because I, I took this video and I could pause and freeze and, 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 and dissect every point and, and bring forth every flaw that the, or, or false teaching that they do. and Because that's what we're set up to do according to the scriptures. All right. And so... I'm going to play some of the video. I'm going to pause it from time to time to uh, to get clarification on where they're wrong at and through the spirit of Yahweh B'Shim Yahweh Shai, uh, profess the truth All right, in the name of Yahweh B'Shim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and served its purpose, so let's get right to it. All right, so I'm going to play some of the clip. I'm going to back it up a little bit and just show how I, you know, I walked up or whatever, but, you know, we'll see. All right, so right now as I'm walking up, they're going into the laws. So he divide the hook and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. That's why. And the reason why the camera is like it is is because I kind of had my phone down to my side because really I was just going to record audio until they started <laughs> engaging me in the conversation because like I said before I was just really there to listen swine so the bible say that's unclean to you so should we be eating it should we be eating it well sheep got all kind of got all kind of that's as a matter of fact you yeah it's me lamb tastes better than beef you ask me I had buffalo before too. It tastes way better than beef. So, so, but, but that's the point. There's plenty of clean stuff we can eat, but we choose to do the opposite of what the Lord said. Verse nine. Verse nine. These shall you eat. And that's the key point where he just said, going into what, what what's about to happen. He said we choose to do the opposite of what the Most High say, right? And clearly they do the opposite because he said call upon the name of his dear son and they don't call him by his true name. All right, so that's one of the points that we're going to go into. Of all that are in the waters. So, in the waters. So, we finna go into seafood. How you doing, bro? What's your name? Just walked up. Hmm? Just walked up. Hold on, Carlton. Don't go nowhere. Hold up. So, now this is the point where they, they engage me into the conversation because, like I said before, I was just going to sit there and listen and record some audio and then go home and do a lesson on it, all right? But it kind of escalated into something else, and we're going to see what transpires. Oh, no, I'm just observing, man. You dealing with the brother right no, here. No, I want to get to the next, so I'm going to dialogue with you. Go ahead, bro. Okay. What's your name? My name is Cedric. Cedric? Jordan? 
Cameron and Cobbs. Read verse 9. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So, do shrimp, huh? Carlton, do shrimp got fins and scales? Huh? Do shrimp got fins and scales? Do shrimp got fins and scales? Fins and scales. No. Do they, they got fins and scales? Do, do they got fins? They gotta have both. Yeah. They got fins and scales. Said you. You sure got yeah. fins and scales? Yeah. So yeah. what else don't have yeah. fins and scales? Let's see. Catfish. Catfish don't have. Catfish got fins. They ain't got scales. Shark. Dolphin. All that sushi and all that crap. We ain't supposed to be eating. Why? I would say we ain't supposed to be. I ain't. Ain't what I said. We just reading the scripture. Now. Yeah, Christian life can all way everything is good in Jesus. No, everything ain't good in Jesus. Which is true. What he's saying is true in that. We're not against the law at all. So I don't want nobody to get misconstrued about that. But they're teaching that you get salvation according to the law, and that's not true. All right, if you could get salvation, if the law could save us, then there wouldn't be no reason for Yahweh Shai to be crucified. Yes, we are to turn away from sin, but we all fall short. All right, so we need a mediator to bring us back to the Father, and that mediator was Yahweh Shai. He was the ultimate sacrificial lamb for the atonement of our sins, all right? But Jesus. you are supposed to abide by the law to the best of your ability. One of the laws is to call upon his name, man. Hey, you got to keep the commandments. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want sin no more. He ain't take some time. Say that again? Yeah, he said, don't want sin no more. He ain't take some time. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say no more. Yeah, yeah, right, no right, more. right. Yeah, so, oysters. You supposed to be eating oysters. Uh, I, I don't eat none of that stuff. So I, I mean, I'm just saying, though. <laughs> you supposed to be eating. Hey, you got a question? Right. You got a question? Who got a question? I got a question. What's up? All right, you refer to the Messiah's name as being Jesus, uh -huh. but the letter J didn't exist until the 1400s, and it was never publicized until the 1600s. Right. And we're supposed to call him by his true name, because right. according to the book of Acts, chapter 4, 19. According to, because you're going to say, though, uh, the word, his name is the word of God. Is that what you're going to? Let's see. See right here, I already know where he's about to go to. He's about to go to Revelation 19 and 13. I knew that through the spirit, you know, through watching these cats through the spirit, man. The spirit, you, you know, let, you know what I'm saying? The spirit has us dissect all these false doctrines and, and destroy them and debunk them so much to where, like, it's autumn. We know what we know. We can call their scriptures out before they even get to them through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what lets you know. Who's in the spirit and who's not? Because what are we supposed to do? Let me get it. Let me get um. Because right now I'm asking him a question. Why don't they call the Lord the Lord Yahweh Shai by His true name? Why do they call him Christ? Why do they use Hell Zeus? All right. So this is what it's been going into. And the reason why I'm doing that because I, it's a commandment to do that. All right. So let me get Romans chapter 17, 16, verse 17. It says, "Now I beseech you, brethren." Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good one words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And that's what they're doing right now. By teaching the only way to get salvation is through the laws, and you don't have to call upon the true name of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. And that is false. So that is what I'm doing in the spirit of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, which means Yahweh, he exists in the name of uh, um, Yahweh Shai, he delivers. All right? It, no, it's, I'm, I'm asking. Okay, but, so let me ask you a question. Okay. Is Hebrew the only language that don't have a J in it? No, Greek doesn't have a J in it either. What about, what about Chinese Latin, language? Latin doesn't have a J in it either. What about Chinese language? But is it, aren't, aren't we the Hebrews? Yeah. And didn't he speak Hebrew? Yeah. So I, his name would be Hebrew, right? Okay. Get, hold no, no, I, it's a question. His name would be right. Hebrew, right? So get this real quick, and then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go to Isaiah, Revelation chapter nineteen and verse eleven. Yo. All right, thirteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, verse thirteen. Revelation chapter eleven and verse thirteen. Yo. And he, nineteen and verse thirteen. Yo. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. 
and his name is called the Word of God. So, do you get more New Testament and Revelation? Who? Hmm? Do you get any? Can you get um, Acts 4 and 12? Do you do you get any more New Testament in Revelation? Well, I don't understand that question. Okay, Revelation. Uh huh. Which which um? Well, that's the future. Which book? They don't do it in the future. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. Which it. book? Which book? Um, is this book in the beginning or the end of the Bible? But he said he's written in the volume of the book. That's the question. Is this it's, it's in the it's in the it's in the end. It's in the end of the book. Right. Means what? Revelation is the last book. Okay. So, All right. So now I want to go into that. Uh, Revelations 19 and 13, which um, what they're saying is nobody's going to have the true name or his name is the word being his name, which is true. But he became the word became flesh and he had a name. All right. So I'm going to start at verse 12. OK, this is um, Revelation chapter 19, verse 12. It says his eyes were as a flame of fire. Just talking about Yahweh Shai. And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man but he himself, all right? So now getting touching on that point, he himself, all right? So that right there means he himself and those that are like him, those that are one with him and in the Father, all right? So now those others are that are like him are going to praise the holy name of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wad, Yahweh Shai. All right, and the first scripture I want to get is, um, so basically being in unison, uh, being of like mind, all right? Um, I'm going to get, uh, okay, this is a prayer that Yahweh Shai prayed to the Father, all right? So this is John chapter 17. First of all, I want to get John chapter 17, verse 6. It says, it says, um, I have manifested thy name to the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. All right, so that's given a distinct difference between we kept the word, meaning the laws to the best of our abilities back in those times, and we kept the duty of doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, teaching the truth. And we call upon his holy name that was manifested to us by Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. So he, he gave us the word. He was the living word. He was the example uh, of, unto the testimony that we would testify according to prophecy in that same spirit that he was in. Having the father's name written in our foreheads, meaning written in our minds. All right. So I want to go further on and keep. All right. Let me just keep going right there. It says, <clears throat> It says, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I come out from thee, and they have beloved, they have believed that thou didst send me. All right. So now he gave us the name and he gave us the word. Right, but him being the true living, the living word, according to John verse John one and one. Okay, I'm gonna get that because they went into that too. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down a little bit more um, on on another video. I don't know if I'm gonna make this one long video. Probably not. But <clears throat> real quick, this is John chapter one verse one. It says, "In the beginning was the word, and the word." I'm gonna read it verbatim, and the word was was with was with God, and the and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. So now I'm going to read it how it's supposed to go, right? So what is it, what is it doing? It's clarifying that Yahweh Shai was, was, was the first being with Yahweh and, and with the powers, all right? They were all together, all right? It said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the powers, and the word was a power. The same was in the beginning with the powers. And if you break it down in the Greek, that's what the translation or transliteration is, all right? That's what it, that's what the message is conveying when you see it uh, in the transliterated form. That's what it says, if I'm using the right word. A transcript might be the right word to be used, all right? So going back to John chapter 17, I want to start at verse... Um,
I'm going to go start at verse 9. John 17 and 9 says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. How? Because we glorify his name, man, and his walks. Okay? It says, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep them, keep, Holy Father, keep through, slack you, keep through thy na own name those whom thou has given me that they may be one as we are. And that's the point going back to Revelation chapter 19, verse 12. All right, let me get that again. It says, keep them in thy name. All right, I'm going to read that again. John chapter 17, verse, verse 10. No, verse 11. It says, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep them through thy own name, those whom thou hast given me, and they may be one as we are one. So now going back to Revelation 19 and um, 12, it says, His eyes are as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but himself. All right, And those that are one in him, all right, so the father knows and the elect, the son knows and the elect know not only the holy name, but the word also. Verse 13, it said that he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of Yahweh. All right. The word of God. All right. So not only giving us the word, the understanding of these scriptures and the will of the father, he also gave us the father's true name for it to keep as a memorial. All right. From generation unto generation. Now, with that being said, let me get, um, I'm going to go back to John chapter 17 again. And um, just John 17 and 16, it said, they are not of the world, even as I am not of, not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Right. So, we're going to have 100% truth. We're not going to be calling on false deities or false names because that was a commandment not to call on other gods. All right? False names. Let me get Exodus 23. All right? This is Exodus chapter 23, verse 13. It says, In all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mentions of the names of other gods, neither let them be heard out of thy mouth. All right, so we're not supposed to be calling on any false m names. And it said, in all things remain circumspect. And that's going back to um, um, Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Mark those that cause division. Be, being circumspect on who's falsely giving false doctrine out here, causing our people to err. All right, the scripture said the leaders of these people cause my people to err. One of the ways that Aaron, by not knowing the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai, all right? So the name is to be glorified, all right? The name is to be signified. And that's why it says it was declared unto the, the men that thou hast given me out of the world, all right? Let me get um Psalms chapter 40, verse 7. <clears throat> it's like you. This is Psalms. Oh. All right, so he wanted to talk about, um, matter of fact, no, I don't want to get that yet. I want to get Proverbs uh, 30 and 4. That's what I want to get. Shalakia. Like this is Proverbs chapter 30. Verse 4, it says, Who hath ascended unto heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the winds in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? Because it says, Every word of Yahweh is pure, and so is his name pure. He is a shield unto them 
that put their trust in him. Right. Add not unto his word, lest he, lest he reprove thee, and ye be found, and, and thou be found a liar. All right. So they're being found liars, man, because there's a scripture that says, all right, it says, who has ascended up to the heavens and descended? Yahweh Shai, all right? But they can't, they don't know his name to understand any of that. So therefore, they're not going to understand his complete word. So they're going to call upon false names, all right? And then they're going to give uh, false doctrines, and they're going to tell you that the only way to, is to, 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 solve, to, to, to get salvation is to wear fringes. It's just and that and that's that, that's what their leg is to stand on. They have no truth, all right. So, from that, I want to go to Proverbs eighteen and ten. It says, "The name of the Lord is a strong tower; the righteous run up into it and is safe." All right. And that does have to do with the scriptures, but it's talking about his name, calling upon his holy name. All right. That's just it. If you call, if you, if, if if a woman calls her man by another name, he's not going to answer. That works the same way with the how by Shimei was shy. All right. All right. And another thing they wanted to go into is, uh, let me see if I can find it. But it's, but, but it's speaking of prophecy, though, right? This Oh. If we're the Israelites his and he's the God of the Jews, right? You know, Jay, in the Chinese language, he is. All right. Is this book in the beginning or the end of the Bible? But he said he's written in the volume of the book. That's the question. It, is this it's, in the, it's, in the, it's in the end. It's in the end of the book. Right. Means what? Revelation is the last book. Okay. So the but last it's, but, book. But it's speaking of prophecy, though, right? Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Okay. In the last book of the Bible, his name is called the Word of God. That's it. Uh huh. That's it. So, and then the Hebrew you referring to, you say, okay, well, no J in Hebrew, okay, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no J in the Chinese language either. Can you get Acts four so and twelve? So you say his name in Chinese. Uh, you, but he's not a no god J. of the Chinese. But you, you say, aren't you preaching he's a god know. of the Hebrews, right? It don't matter. Are you preaching that he's the god of the Hebrews? Yeah. All right. So why are we, why are we talking about Chinese? We're the Israelites, his and he's the god of the Jews, the right? No, I'm, I'm asking a you know, question. You said it's a dialogue, right? Huh? Bro, you speak Hebrew? A little bit, yeah. Yes, I'm sir. learning Hebrew. I'm What's learning Hebrew. What's the day in Hebrew? Um, Kanak. Kanak? Yeah. Well, tell me what day of the month it is and what year it is in Hebrew. Tell me. What does that have to do with his name? You don't speak Hebrew, bro. What does that have he to do with his name? People. They went, they went to Catholic. What, what does that have to do with his name? Yeah, but that, and that's the point. Um, It does say, with stammering lips and another tongue, I will speak to this people, but he gave him his true name. All right, so it doesn't matter. Um, where we're at, yes, we were taught. It's even in Egypt when we're speaking um, uh, the language of the Egyptians, we still had his name carved on the walls of the, in the uh, in Egypt. We still call upon his name in Egypt, but they're saying that we didn't have his name. But according to the scriptures, we had his name. So I'm gonna get into all that. Can you get Acts four and twelve real quick? No, I'm not gonna get Acts four and twelve. And this is the reason why they don't want to get Acts four and twelve. I'm going to go to Acts 4 and 12 right now. I wanted to save it to the end of the uh, lesson, but I have another scripture I want to go to into at the end through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Lord willing. It's part of his will. I will save that one for the end. But right now I want to go to Acts 4 and 12, the one scripture that I kept asking them to bring out and they did not want to bring it out. I think it's, I hope it's Acts 4 and 12. Yep. All right. I'm going to start at 11. This is Acts chapter 4, verse 11, and it says, this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head cornerstone. So they're trying to set Yahweh Shai at naught. All right. It says, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no none other name under heaven given among men where, whereby we must be saved. So there's no other name. No other name. Preaching the, the gospel of Yahweh Shai, no other name under heaven where we may call upon for salvation. That's why they didn't want to bring it out, because they had people out there. But I just said, you know what? Through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, uh, I'll bring it out in a lesson. All right? So, and that's the point. They didn't want to go to that. All right? Um, another scripture I want to get is Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. 
And it says, all right, no, start at verse 1. It says, the songs of, which is Solomon's, the songs which is Solomon's, let him kiss me with the kiss of his mouth, for thy love is better than wine. Right. And that's him speaking, breathing the word into us and, and him giving us the word. In addition to that, what did he give us? It says, because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name is as an ointment poured forth. Therefore, do the virgins love thee. Now you have the virgins, the wise, the, you have five were wise and five were foolish. All right. Um. The five that were wise are going to have the word and the father's name written in their foreheads, man. All right. But these clearly don't have that. They clearly don't have that. They keep talking about Chinese and all this other kind of Mexican and all that other kind of stuff. He's the God of the Hebrews. So therefore, who, who, who clarified or who, who, who was authorized to change or translate the name of the father, Yahweh and the name of his dear son, Yahweh Shai, to call upon these false names when it strictly goes against the scriptures? All right? All right, so uh, Songs of Solomon 1 and 3, again, it says, Because of the savor of thy good ointments, all right, and the word is the ointment, thy name is as an ointment poured forth. Right, because his name is a stamp on his word. When you when you say the name of Yahweh while Yahweh shy, the word is supposed is supposed to follow. All right, because the word was speaking spoken of of who Yahweh, not Jehovah, Yahweh shy, not Jesus. Those are the ones that are speaking the true word, is speaking the true wisdom of Yahweh while Yahweh shy. Those are the ones that are and the ones that declare those names, not any other. But they're sitting out preaching falsehood, right? De deceiving the minds of our people. Let me get another scripture. Uh, where is that? Um. All right. This is uh First Chronicles chapter sixteen, verse eight. It says, "Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon His name." Make known his deeds among people. Make known his, call upon his name is calling upon the true name. All right. And it says, make known his deeds among the people, meaning tell the people of his word and his name falls along with that. It's just, it's just plain and simple, man. It's just plain and simple, but he's not going to be able to get it. Why? Why? Because he wasn't chosen to get it, man. And it is what it is. There's no light in them. Let me get a um another scripture. <sighs> All right, Hebrews two and twelve. It says, um, start at eleven. It says, for both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all one, right? For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. So those are the ones that are going to have the name written in their foreheads that are like Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Verse 12, it says, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. All right, so who are you giving praise to if you don't know his name? How can you call upon him unless you be sent? I mean, roughly paraphrasing. How and how can how how can you teach unless you be sent? Shlakia. All right, this is Romans chapter ten, verse seventeen. It says, um, uh, "So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh." All right, we already know that. But I say, have you Shlakia? But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words into the ends of the world. All right. So, so we profess on uh, what the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is and the pre profess the deeds, meaning his words and his works. All right. So matter of fact, let me start at 13. That's all right. It says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what I was looking for. 
How then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? So they're not trying to let people hear the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, and how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And that's telling them who they are as a people. Yeah, they're preaching Israel. Yeah, they're telling Israel to repent to the law, statutes, and commandments. But that's not the way we're going to get salvation. Yes, we're supposed to abide by the law to the best of our ability. They want to hit you with, um, where's your fringes? And I asked them, well, where's your phylacteries? And then, and then again, in, in addition to that, you could tell that those are mixed fabrics that they're wearing those fringes on. So that's all vanity, man. All right, the scripture says we're going to be prophesying in sackcloth. We're not going to have on beautiful garments anyway, but we are supposed to have garments on when we're teaching, representing the name of the Lord, but it doesn't say that we're supposed, we're in our captivity. You know, I'm not sure if we wore garments in, 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 uh, Babylon or or Assyria or or when we're um in pers um in captivity in in our different captivities, all right. So by declaring that we will be get salvation through the laws, is is false, man. All right. So this topic right here dealing with the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which they don't want to deal with, all right. So the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous running into it and are safe, man. So so so. I don't, they're, they're, they're not able to clarify their points because they have no light within them, man. All right. Um, Hebrews 2 and 12 again saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the church while I sing praise unto thee. All right. So what are we putting trust in, in the name and in the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All right. And I had a couple more scriptures I wanted to get. Let me get Psalms. Chapter 22. This is Psalms chapter 22, verse 22. It says, I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye that all ye the seed of Jacob glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. All right. So giving praise unto his holy name is how we establish and accomplish that. Let me write that. Uh, I'll do it in the other oh, no, here. Right. All right. Slack here. Let me put this precept in here real quick. Hebrews 2 and 2. Got it right there. Schlocky. All right. So now, from there, I want to get um, Psalms ninety one. Hold on. Let me uh, let me uh, let me play a little bit more of the clip because there's, there's some more meat in here. I, I just want to get the scriptures. I, I don't. I don't want to hear it out of your mouth. I want it from the scriptures. All right. You want it from the scriptures? Yeah. Acts four and twelve. That scripture that you just read. Can you get Acts 4 and 12? You see, they keep dancing around Acts 4 and 12. They don't want to go into that. Chapter 19 and verse 13. Read. Can and you get Acts 4 and 12? With a vesture dipped in blood. Uh -huh. and so now we understand that the name was the word of God. There was a separation between the word and the name. We're established by both. All right? We have to have the name to call upon. We call upon that name. He will give us his word, his Holy Spirit, the understanding. And that and that and that's broken down in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And what is the last verse said? It said, we shall have the, we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. The word is what instructs us. All right. The name is what we praise. All right. And we praise his word too, man, by, by action, doing the work in sincerity and in truth. All right. Hey, what about John 17 and 6? Word of God. So everybody said, this is a future prophecy. It's only happening in the future. James 1 and 1. You know, Acts 4 and 12? Prophecy. What about the book of James? Was that future? Acts is in the New Wait. Testament. James, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh, Acts is in the, the New Testament. Testament. Anybody that's been in church, where's the book of James? New Testament, Old Testament. And this is where he messed up because he pulled out the wrong scripture and the Lord finna cut him right here. New Testament, Wait. 
14. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, and to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. To the 12 tribes of what? To the 12 tribes of Israel. So what were they speaking? They were speaking Hebrew. John 1 and 1, I almost spoke. John 1 and 1. John 1 and 1. It's going to say the same thing as Revelation, right? No, it doesn't. Listen. It talks about the Messiah being in the beginning with the with the powers. See, they don't they calling out precepts and don't even know what they they just scattered all over the place. Scatterbrain, man. They don't know what they they don't even know what they doing, man. You know? They clearly are butchering the scriptures, man, and they're getting frustrated. It, 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 we only halfway through. I think I'm gonna cut this video right here. Um, but it gets even better, man. All right. They wanna dance around, talk about prophecies and Nobody's going to have his name right now. That's not true. The scriptures say the elect shall praise his holy name. The name was given from the beginning. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to close part one of this lesson out. And um, uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I want to watch some more footage and study some more footage, write down some more precepts and everything. And uh, go on to part two. Lord willing, this first part was edifying and service purposes. Like I said, Kyle Halayim, like Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Harikak with Dash, my moth. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and double honors to my elder Harawan as well. Salutations to the Akim that are pushing the truth and sincerity and truth. And peace and blessings to the men, women, and children that believe in the name and the word of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.